Welcome to Kelly on Casting. Today I'm at Marchamley. That's the entrance here, there's a gate there. The owner, Jeff, he's just gone out, so he hasn't locked it, but you are supposed to lock it behind you. You've got the hut there. You can have breakfasts, meals, dinners. There's a little porter cabin for you to go to the toilet. This pool here, let me just come out a bit more, there you go, is what was classed as the match pool. And in here you had uh, barble, bream, a bit of a mixed bag really, some smaller carp. But last year, early last year, and then early this year, he stocked it with carp up to, I think he says, £27. Um, I've only caught bream out of here. It's very tempting to try and go for them again. Um, but my mate, Stu, he's had two out of here to the higher 20s. Uh, sorry, to the to the higher teens, should I say. Um, and he was saying somebody was fishing on this peg here. And he had five out yesterday. Turn round. Over here, you've got a house pool. This is uh, the specimen lake, but there are smaller ones in here. Now, he hasn't restocked it with anything small. All the small ones have what have come off spawn. So anything you catch out of this pool under, I think it's about 15, 17, 15 pounds, 17 pounds, is all what's come off spawn. Now I've had my PB out of this one. I was fishing over there where the van is. And it was out into open water. 22.2. Good picture, looks bigger. And then I had another one. It was 20. Just over 20 from over the back here. Um, but this year, biggest out of this one, I think it's 33. This pool here, all the vans around, don't really want to be bothering them too much. But that is the cat pool. The pool I want to fish is just up there, and that'll be the top pool. So I'm going to jump in my car and have a drive around so you can try and get a glimpse of the uh, cat pool for you. So this is the cat pool, it's not big, but Cats do go up to about 76, we think, mid 70s anyway. And the biggest out this year is 66 pound. There's a few people on here, there's a couple, there's one there, there's a couple, there's one here, and there's one over there as well. Um, it does stretch over the back there, it's like a, an island, um, and it does go down to the back here as well. Um, but there's some kittens to be had, and there's some nice big cats to be had as well. Like I say, £66 the biggest this year. So, this is the peg I'm going to be set on, I think. Probably have a couple of casting out over, over towards the back end. I don't think this end gets fished all that often, because literally you do have to drive around it. Look, when you get to about that point over there, let me come on, it looks like you can't get round here because you've got this bank in the way. But literally when you get over there, you, you literally just keep driving round. I'm reversing as well. But I like this peg, I'm out of the way. Don't think I'll have anybody bothering me. I'll set up my bivy here. I love my rods here. Now this pool, just talking to Jeff, the biggest out of here this year, and it's probably the biggest in the pool, 32. See, that was gonna be another option for me, just here. But well, there's somebody right next to me. Well, there would have been. And there's a couple of people just just on this side. That's the island as well. There's a couple of people just on this side fishing out. There's a couple of people over on the far bank. That's another island just on the other. So it is the biggest pool on here. But literally, all of this from here coming around. 
to here, I've got to myself. So I haven't set up yet. Just had a walk around the pool, I was just chatting to some uh, chaps who were fishing middle of the pool really. And uh, they've been here 24 hours so far and they've only had one. Uh, fishing three rods between them. But that's not, not as good as I was hoping really. And uh, the ones who are fishing right down the back, they've, they've had a field day. I've had a couple of special fish out of here. And uh, they've had, they've, I, think, I think he said they've had about 10. They've had a really good night apparently. Just beautiful though. Look, I've got all this to myself here. All of this like having my own little pool here. There's no pegs over the back. Let's give it a go. So I'm uh, I'm just setting up, just casting some Robin Reds out just to the far back there. Probably have some boilie over there or lunch and meat or boilie over here. I'll decide in a minute. But if I was gonna have some peace and quiet, but <laughs> looks like I'm gonna have the uh Little bar bar sheeps. As long as they don't pester me, I'll be fine. Just setting up my second rod and uh, big jump. Well, not not a big jump, but a big swirl. Just come out literally by where I've cast it out. And I think I still had a liner as well. Where the line, you could see the line pulling in the water. So, been in the water five minutes. Beep, 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 beep. Off it went, struck, felt the weight of it, and then just unhooked, man. So, uh, good signs anyway. Um, gonna get it reset and then cast it back out, so fingers crossed. So, no word of a lie, cast it straight back out. Uh, less than, wasn't even five minutes, it was probably about a minute. Just over there, sorting some stuff out. Beep, 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 beep. Rods bending around, tapping away. Beep, 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 beep. Struck, again, felt the weight. And then all of a sudden, nothing. The bait's still on. And uh, I've literally just cast it straight back out. No string is on this time. To see if uh, see if it makes a difference. I might just like it. Plony wafter. Uh, nothing on the pellet even though they've been jumping up over there um, it's over here but literally I haven't even been out two minutes oh there we go is that one on? nothing, see what I mean? I don't know what I'm doing I don't know what I'm doing No bream in here, is there? I'll certainly confirm there's no bream in here. So, anyway, I'm just going to switch off and cast this back out. Oh, yeah, look, Steve. Yeah, leave it a minute. Let it run. So, I don't know if you can see on the GoPro, I'm having bite after bite after bite. But every time I strike, there's nothing on it. What's going on with that? Well, like I said, it was quite like a mad 15 minutes, especially that one on the left. So I cast it out, PVA stringer, some polonies on there with some uh, Robin Reds. Uh, cast it out, and even been out there five minutes. Rod bent round, struck, struck into nothing. So uh, PVA stringer, cast it back out. It hadn't even been out there a minute. Um, it's exactly the same again. Pulled, pulled it right the way around. Pulling the line out. Beep, 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 beep. Struck. Nothing again. So this time I didn't do a string. I just cast it straight back out to the spot. Same again. Beep, beep, beep. Anyway, as I was trying to record it, 
the right one went. Struck that, nothing on. Anyway, casted the left one back out. And then boo, but I left it a little bit longer this time, but then it pulled the rod pod over. And I struck, again, nothing. But then the bow wave that was out in the water, the bow wave that come up, I think it was a big one. I think it was a big one. So I've cast it back out straight away and uh, nothing. So what I'll do, I'll bring it back in. I'll put another stringer on it. And uh, fingers crossed, isn't it? Casted the right one back out. Didn't quite land it in the spot I wanted. Uh, I think that's because I was rushing to get that left one sorted out again. Um, Plony wafters. I'll tell you what, where are they? That's all it is, Plony dumbbell wafters. And they're not massive, I've got two on. And they're only 10 by 14. Gutted. Like I say, I'm using the same tactics. Why it's not hooked, I don't know. So I've set up a third rod. Uh, definitely spooked whatever was out there. It's been a good hour now, probably a bit longer than that. And uh, nothing. It was just a mad 15 minutes. So I've set up a third rod now. Just got lunch and meat on it. Let's see. Just right in the margin, just here. And then the other two rods. One going out here. I've got one out there. It was like a mad 15 minutes. I reckon it was a catfish. So there's four catfish in this pool. Apparently they go up to about 40 pound. The actual cat lake itself, they go up to 76 pound. It's the only thing I can explain the reason why it wasn't hooking. You know, maybe the mouth was too big for the hook, I don't know. Possibilities of angling now, you could make a book on it. So finally, all set up now for the night. It's half past one. It's just time to just chill out now and relax on it. So, uh, it's going on to about three o'clock now. Yeah, it is exactly three o'clock, so I've been here a good while. And I've had absolutely no action, apart from the first 15 minutes when I first started. So, now on the left one there, I've got crab and crayfish. Proper stinky, smells really nice actually. To the fish, as I'd imagine. Um, very spicy smelling, so I'm hoping that might do something. I've changed from pellet now on this middle one. I've put polony on that one. Still got lunch meat and absolutely nothing. Um, I'm going to bear with it though. Now, what I'll probably do. Give it another hour or so, and then I might stick a pop up on there. I might even try the bio, something like that. You know, I've got a body from Retrovate to bio, tends to do well um, in the colder months anyway. It's not exactly summertime just yet, so it might work. I'll update you again in the meantime. I'm going to try and eat this because I forgot my fork. So, uh, I'm sure I'll find a way. Catch up with you in a bit. Well, coming up towards tea time. Forgot my fork, then I? So, got my pot noodle. Oh well, well. Saves on the washing up. We're in. Good fight. Don't know what it is yet though. I don't think it's massive. Just gotta be careful. Don't grab another rod. Oh, 
think I must have managed to get away from the other rod. So I don't think it's massive. Away from that rod, turn him. There we go. Oh, that was a nice common. Second. Plony, plony wafter. Thirteen. So it's uh, coming towards half past seven now. I've had the one. Lovely condition. Uh, it wasn't one of the massive ones, it was one of the smaller ones in here. And uh, I was talking to the chap who's in that white van over there. And uh, I says to him, I says, Jeff, the owner was telling me that a 32 had come out of it recently. And he went, So it was him that caught it. So, uh, be nice to catch one if I tell you what right if I catch my PB out of here I've got some clean water I'll use this water I'll drench myself so I'm playing with it that's an 18 mil bio from retro Summit sniffing it, half past eight it is. Probably got about another half hour of light, if that. But we're summit sniffing it that then. Happy 
been assured there's no bream in this pool. Might have been a liner. waiting in anticipation. Well, on the camera it's looking pretty light, but it's actually getting quite dark now. I had a funny bite on that right rod. That was the Bio 18mm. Um, nothing followed up from it. So that's still out there. I know it's still going to be on the hook. It's a hard hooker, so I know that's not going to come off. Um, cast it out on the right rod uh, two Plony dumbbells and that's gone uh, there and the bio is there and then the the big Plony wafter it's an 18mm or is it 22mm I look at if it's 18 is out Right there. Oh, it's quite dark now, you can't see much of torch on me. There we go. So it's, uh, it's quite dark now. And there's nothing worse than you just getting snuggled up, you know, getting warm inside the uh, turning around inside of your bed. And then there. Uh, beep, 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 beep. Run out and, uh, and then it stops. I'm getting them pretty little taps again. So again, they uh, just tap and the bobbin started going up slow. Beep. Beep and then back down. I'm thinking it's just a liner. See, so much going on with that again. Something sniffing at this. Five thirty in the morning. Didn't have much sleep at all. Quite annoying, really. Like, must have just been liners on that right rod. So the bobbins dropped on it. Beep, 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 beep. And obviously, you get to run out of bed, don't you? You know, all excited, and obviously, it's nothing. So it's ten past seven. Left rod's just gone beep 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 beep. Personally, I think the line is. Got both of them rods on the left, cast it out towards the edge that runs along the back there. This one's out in the open. Um, carp are jumping up over the back rod, I think they're just swimming up and down the edge, and I think they're just casting the line all night. Beep, beep, beep. You know, you, you'd go up to the bobbin and you'd see slowly it's going up, going back down. Um, so, only the one off here today, well. Yesterday, there are some nice ones to be had. 32 is the biggest this year. 
looks tiny from here, but it actually, you, you know, you, you'd have seen it goes all the way down. It goes all the way down the back. Um, four catfish and some other surprises too. It's just a shame I didn't do better. But uh, I'll come again. What I'll do, I'll, uh, I think I'll pack these rods up. I've packed up now. Um, I'll put these rods in. I won't pack them down, I'll just, they're extractors, so I'll, I'll just shorten them up. Stick them in the car. I'll go down to the match pool for, for the morning. See if we can get one from there. And this is the match pool. I just restocked it with car. We do have barbell in here, £12. And the car now goes to 27 So I'm just going to spend the morning on here. Yeah, we do. So, guy who's fishing just down in that corner. Look tired, look frustrated. Any good mate? Nah. So they just had one. I was like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. A dirty bloody bream in the middle of the night. <laughs> so, yeah, with, with this with this pool, like I say, he has restocked it. He was full of bream and uh, full of barbel. Well, not the odd few barbel, it used to be full of barbel, you've got the odd few barbel now, but they do go up to like £12. You can bag up on here, the match fisherman can anyway. Um, but he restocked it to try and get more of the cart fishermen on here as well. Um, I think he put all together, I think he's put about 60 in, I think. Yeah, I think it was about 60. We well, last stocked it uh, January, December or January this year. Oh, I've had a few bleeps. But I think it's the bream. You gotta get past the bream to get to the carp on this pill. I'll tell you something, it's what? After, just after half past eight. And it's warmer now than it was yesterday afternoon. The temperatures dropped yesterday. So I'm sure, obviously I'm not gonna be here later, but I'm sure it's gonna fish better later than what it did yesterday anyway sun's coming out blue skies got a few hours anyway so fingers crossed i really need to remember to press record on this thing so i just add one <laughs> bream he was probably about that big there uh just got him in and hooked him in in the water didn't want to get him in the net slide my net up um, I had all them modules all over him. Um, but I'd say he was probably about a six pound bream though. Um, I'll remember to press record next time. That chap down there was talking to me. Uh, not the target species. Ah, uh, it's the bream. I think so. Yeah. Pellet, Robin Reds. There you go, second bream. Not what I want. Let's see another car. Bream. Another bream, just tell. Heavy bream though. That is not heavy. I'm just glad. Thank God for that. Not a fan of bream. 
past three now. I'm going to try and get past the bream and get one of these carp. So it's about half ten now. That's me 24 hours up anyway. I could stay a couple of hours longer. But I'm going to pack up and go. I'll come again. I'll try the ice pool again. That's my favourite one. That's where I have my PB. So obviously my heart will be held to that pool. Um, top pool. Plenty jumping around. God, they're loud, aren't they? Plenty jumping around. Um, add the one. But there are some surprises in there. But you'll have to find that out for yourself. Um, add three bream out of this one. Not the carp that I was after. I'm going to pack these rods up and go. So, all in all, you know. Like I say, it's, it's a nice place, it can get busy. Um, I reckon it'll probably get, but it's already busy. No, there's one, two, three, four, five. There's five on this match pool. The house pool's the quietest. There's one, two, three, there's five on the cat pool. And then I think there's probably about eight up on the top pool. And then I think we've been back on uh, Monday um, weekend. It'll get busier. So. I'm going to pack up, get something to eat from the hut, and uh, I'm going to go home. So, until next time, carry on casting.